Hello everyone! Welcome back to another decluttering episode. In this video we will declutter all my lip products from lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liners, lip balms and things like that. My name is Irina and I'm the owner of the blog Lipstick Cafe. My collection has things that were 90p up to £30 so I think it's a very well kind of mixed in collection and I'll give very quick reviews about each product and things like that so if you enjoy this type of content then please make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will film more decluttering videos and we will slowly go through every single category in my collection. This is the drawer where I keep all my lip products mainly this area here are lipsticks and then a few lip glosses, lip pencils, lip balms and whatnot so we have quite a lot to go through. To kind of get rid of a big chunk in my collection, I will pick up these lipsticks from Makeup Revolution. And I have quite a few of them, mainly because I had a Makeup Revolution advent calendar a few years ago and they gave quite a few lipsticks in that one. I have red lipsticks, nude colours, a purple. Now when I got them in the calendar and I did a bit of research about them, I found out they're one pen each, so extremely affordable. Some of them I've used a lot, like this bright pink. I absolutely love this colour on my lips. Now you'll have to excuse the bullets because I did smash them on papers and things for um, images on my blog and things, so they will look a bit odd. But I did use this one quite a few times and I really enjoy it. They were okay, but with colours more like this nude ones, they were just overemphasize the fine lines on my lips and they would just look absolutely horrible on my lips. So I'm afraid these two I almost never used. I just sometimes I cut bits of them and use them for pictures and things but these two were definitely not my favourite. The thing that I really liked about this lipstick is that they have this wee thing at the bottom and you can use a lip liner and just apply it on your lips. Absolutely gorgeous colour, really really beautiful. It's one of my favourite lip colours to wear. So elegant yet a bit more modern than just the dark red. Really really liked it. For some reason these dark colours are a bit more creamy than the, um, than the nude ones. It looks gorgeous on my hand for some reason but on my lips it just looked very dry and probably the colour was not the most ideal for me. I will also swatch this one for you because I think it's an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous colour. Really really beautiful. Not for the faint-hearted ones. Very nice. I mean they were not bad lipsticks but I did have them in my collection for probably three years now so I wouldn't wear these again just because they're a cream formula and if they're very very old I don't know I don't think it's the best especially because it's on your lips and you will probably ingest quite a lot of it. If you're curious about expiration dates and period after opening details like that I do discuss them in my previous episode of decluttering makeup. But makeup expires it has a shelf life and beyond that it has a period after opening most of the time. Not every country has legislation in place to enforce these kind of things on them but most of them should have a shelf life and a period after opening. These ones are all 12 months. Now I'm not going to lie I usually push them a bit. I kind of force the limit by a few months most of the time if they smell okay and they don't show signs of uh, mold or any kind of alteration in the formula I do try and use them for longer but these are quite a few years old so we'll have to say goodbye to them for now. This next product is a lipstick from Essence and I used to use this one every single day. It has a gorgeous gorgeous shimmer to it. Really sweet, really beautiful. Oh, it still smells gorgeous. It smells of raspberries. It's such a beautiful colour. It's so flattering. But it's really, really old. It doesn't even have any information on it. Probably the label wore off or something. Fantastic product. I'm not sure if they have a similar one. Really, really affordable. Probably two euros or even less than that when I got it. But I'll have to let it go for now. Another lipstick from Essence. A nude lipstick that I think I got too early my experience with makeup. It was not quite the right shade. Actually it looks very very beautiful. I haven't worn this in years which says how old this is. It's very beautiful. Unfortunately I will let this one go as well but I will do something because I'm quite curious. So I have this other nude lipstick from MAC and this one is not expired yet so I'm definitely keeping this one. It smells 
gorgeous. It smells like cupcakes. Really, really yummy. I love this lipstick so much. It's very matte, but it doesn't suck out the life in your lips. Oh yeah, the MAC one is a lot darker and tends towards brown a lot more. The Essence one is a lot more shiny. Really, really gorgeous lipstick though. I just wanted to compare the two to see what I felt like. Personally, I don't think either of them are my perfect shade of nude, but that's a whole different topic that I don't want to cover in this video because it's going to be very long anyway. This one I'm keeping, the one from MAC, the one from Essence goes in the bin box because, well, it's very, very old. Then I have lipsticks from Dolomia. Absolutely brilliant lipsticks. So beautiful. This one was a copperish colour. Not my favourite if you ask me, but the formula of them is just so smooth and creamy and gorgeous. Mm, and they smell really nice as well. I just love really thin thick creamy lipsticks for some reason. They just kind of hydrate my lips at the same time. This other color, absolutely gorgeous. Wow, definitely weird things on it. I'll try and show you. I hope the camera can pick it up. Definitely, definitely looks like it absolutely has to go in the bin. The color changed so much as well. This used to be a kind of bright pink towards red color. Very, very beautiful. It's similar to this type of color, which is why I think I liked it. Both of them go in the bin box just because they're very, very old and they show signs of, well, dodgy things on them. I have another lipstick from Delomia, the ones I've mentioned before. Oh my god, looks... Oh my god. Wow, I'm really glad I'm doing this now. This one is a red coppery colour and it looks disgusting. It looks that it has crystallising things on it, so it definitely goes. But really enjoyed the, their formula and consistency. Next thing is a lip gloss and this is from Smashbox. Ooh, stinks. It's very, very old. It actually smells horrible. I never really enjoyed this because it was a very light shade of pink and it just made me look odd. So I can't say much about this one. Oh my god, this looks disgusting. It's all separating. This is why you should definitely declutter your makeup and make sure, you know, <laughs> you get rid of really old things because, as I've said, we wear lip products in our lips, so we will definitely ingest them and lick our lips and things, so you do not want to wear dodgy smelling, dodgy looking things, so this one goes in the bin box, that's for sure. The next thing is this lipstick and it doesn't even have a name or any label. It was from Pound World a really long time ago, so I think it was one pound. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Really, really loved to wear this one. Not the best payoff and it's a bit patchy, but for one pound at the time, I really needed a lipstick like this and it worked. There's that, but it is quite a few years old. So I know for sure it's expired and uh, I will let it go. Next thing is this lipstick or something from L'Oreal. It has a very weird thing. It's called Shine and it comes in 905. <sighs> it smells of raspberries. Really delicious. This is just like a white kind of glittery sheen on your lips. Absolutely gorgeous. I like this one. With the only mention that is very light pink on your lips. So although it's just a shine, it does have a bit of a purplish, pinkish kind of shine on your lips. And I'm not particularly into that. It's still nice to have and it, it's very hydrating on my lips. I can't remember when I bought this. Oh my god. It says 24 months, so I'll keep it for now, but I'll definitely watch its consistency and if it changes anything. The next product is another lipstick and this is the True Color Lipstick shade 13. It smells delicious. It's gone because I've used it in the picture. I literally just chopped it off and smashed it on a piece of paper and took a picture of it. In fact, I think this is the lip bullet that is on my about page on Lipstick Cafe. I will link it down below if you're curious because um, it's gone. This was a fantastic lipstick but I'm afraid it doesn't mention the brand anywhere. So this is a lot about how affordable these products were, you know, if no one even bothers to put the name of a brand on them. The next lipstick is from Avon and it's in shade Deep Orchid. Now this one is really, really old, but it was one of my favourite lip products. It's really, really dark, almost black. 
fascinating for ombre looks on my lips. That's why it has that wee hole in it because I would just use a lip brush and kind of just create shadows on the inside of my mouth and it would make the most beautiful, gorgeous, elegant and sophisticated look. I love this one, but this one is really, really, really old, so I have to let it go. I haven't even used it in years. I think that's the thing. Lots of this lip products I haven't used in years. So they definitely need to go out of my makeup drawer and kind of get more breathing space for new products. Oh god. Next product is a gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick from MAC and I actually never got to wear this one yet. I got it in a, the Debenhams Beauty Advent Calendar. Beautiful, beautiful shade. I think it's one of their iconic ones actually. And I did open this. MAC lipstick shade Ruby Boo stays with me. I've got another lipstick. I would say this was one of my favourite makeup items over the years. And it's from MEA. I think it was one pound. So fantastic value and this is another fun extremely gold, gorgeous color very very beautiful bright pink and the reason I love this is because the formula of it stays on my lips forever really really gorgeous wearable pink more wearable than the um, makeup revolution one this one is a bit more warm tone which I think makes it a bit more natural looking on your lips really really gorgeous product and then on the other side you get a lip gloss this one has a wee pot for your lip brush as well I love that anyway I didn't want to let this go until I found a replacement so I went to the shops and found replacement for it so now I can you know let it go Anyway, it doesn't make this one, I know for sure, because I looked for it, but you can find this kind of pink and double-sided kind of thing from other brands, so it's good. The next lipstick, it's the one that I'm wearing today. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favourite lipsticks in my collection, and this is the Burberry lipstick in shade Military Red number 109. I talk about this product in my article on Lipstick Cafe about gorgeous beauty gifts under £30. I also mention it in my uh, 2019 favourites, so I'll link them all below so you can go have a check and read more about it. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick. I kind of messed the bullet by mistake. Really beautiful blue undertoned lipstick. Gorgeous, gorgeous, and this stays with me 18 months. Oh god, it's a bit more than that. So I'll have to keep a very close eye on it. But it looks gorgeous for now and uh, doesn't seem to have changed at all. Really, really beautiful lipstick. And then another red lipstick in a similar shade is this one from Rimmel. This one is so old. Oh my god. Actually, this is a more copperish shade. Really, really old. Looks dodgy. I've used it for pictures and things, which is why it looks so horrible. Trust me, I do not apply my lipsticks like that, really. I just kind of push them onto papers for textures and things for pictures. <laughs> so, Rimmel lipstick has to go. Then another red lipstick is this one from MEA. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous... Oh my god, this looks dodgy. What? It's not that old. Or is it? has a beautiful pot. Oh my god, that looks dodgy as well. Oh god, what am I doing? My lip collection is a mess! <laughs> really, really beautiful red. It's very thin in consistency and you need to apply quite a lot of it to show, but it's a beautiful lipstick and it was one pound. So if you want this kind of reds, you can definitely go for brands like MUA, Makeup Revolution. Definitely really nice. Oh, that one is gorgeous. It's so similar to what I'm wearing right now, you know, and Burberry is a lot uh, more pricey than uh, MUA, you know, but really nice lipstick. I'll let this go. Next thing I'm going to talk about are the glazes from Laura Mercier. They're five. They were in a set. They are definitely expired. Very, very gorgeous colours. We have this deep cherry red and beautiful bright red. I actually wear them both in my How to Do Your Makeup while taking Rakuten. I'll link that video down below as well for you to see this shade blush it's a nudie color absolutely gorgeous beautiful and you know they used to smell like vanilla but mm, they kind of stink now i can never wear the shade angelic 
because it's very very pale and it just makes me look funny and then the other one that I really really loved was the shade cosmic which is only like a sheer kind of thing on your lips but glittery really really gorgeous mm, this one still smells nice now the problem with these is that I really tried to kind of empty them before I bin them but these started to really leak like around the tube I'm not sure what that means is it normal for products leak when they're really old they're not that old though I want to keep them kind of not to wear only to like half them for displays and things so I'll put them aside kind of some other things from Laura Mercier I have are for lipsticks and absolutely gorgeous this one is in a beautiful pink natural shade really really easy to wear for every day this one is in shade pink dust and this stays with me and then the other three lipsticks gorgeous gorgeous lipsticks so here they are you can tell which one i've used the most which is the uh, cherry pinkish reddish color you can really tell which ones are my favorite really the other one is very beautiful as well it's more of a natural dyed down pink and then the other one is a lot more difficult to wear because it's a pale shade of nude I would just wear it in the middle of my lips if I really wanted to and actually ooh, this one looks gross oh my god huh I will keep them for now. Well, I'll probably have to let them go in the next following months. But these stay with me for now. Although they are expired, I know that. The two other things from Laura Mercier are is this liquid lip stick, which is in a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creamy shade of pink. I really like it, but emphasizes fine lines on your lips. And then a lip liner uh, and shade baby lips from Laura Mercier as well really really beautiful lip liner really really like it oh uh, does it look odd I think so definitely looks dodgy 12 months oh, the problem is I feel awful to like bin this higher end products two other lip products really nice is this Olivia Hale lip liner and shade blush and this was 90p I think really pale shade of pink but really really nice to line your lips with such a natural color if it suits your skin tone obviously it kind of gives a shape to your lips but it doesn't make it obvious you're wearing color and things and then the next one is a lip liner from NYX really beautiful it really complements that dark cherry pink that I keep liking these are both not expired so these stay with me that's for sure the next thing is a plumpling lip gloss and this is from Alex Steinhardt and her collection with Primark. I do have a full review about this product. Not my favourite. If you want to read everything about it, including ingredients, wear time, everything about it, you can... I'll link it down below as well because it's on my blog and it's a very um, complex article so you can find everything you want about it. It just has menthol so it kind of stings my lips. It's not expired yet or is it? I think it is. I'll let this go. And I have this interesting product from True Lips and it's this color changing product. Really interesting because it does change color. Initially it looks like a pale pink and then it kind of changes into a dark deep pink on your lips almost towards red and it stains them and then it doesn't go away for ages it's not extremely moisturizing but it's a nice product and it's not expired so i'm keeping this one for now definitely missing a few to be honest because i know i have more but they're not here <laughs> anyway the ones that are missing are some more of these lip glosses for makeup revolution they're all really really expired and I really enjoyed them really nice texture and they were from the same makeup advent calendar for makeup revolution so they're really old but they were very pleasant to wear not sticky moisturizing really gorgeous but i do have to let them go i have another light pink shade and a deeper one so i'll look for them as well and um, unfortunately i'll have to let them go but i'd definitely be inclined to get more uh, things for makeup revolution and then we have a few lip balms we have this lip balm from Yves Rocher really affordable i think it must be like two euros or something and this is with raspberry not the most nourishing one it's just kind of cute because it smells nice it's a bit nourishing not too much and it has a nice color but this definitely looks dodgy oh 
I'll have to let it go. Then we have this one, uh, UV filters. Really affordable product, really old, really yellow and really gone. Definitely goodbye. Then I have the Naivea lip balm, which I keep talking about on my blog and YouTube channel. You can definitely find more about this one in my empty videos and things like that. So I'm keeping this one. Then we have the Evatherm lip balm. I'm keeping this one as well. Not the best one, quite waxy, but I do plan in the future to write an article about lip balms. So keep your eye open for that one. Then I have this volumizing lip balm with color interesting concept definitely very shiny and kind of nice i uh, will keep this one for now then i have an old essence lip balm which i plan to write full review of and comparing it to a very high-end product that i think it's a dupe for uh, we have a lip plumbing pillow plump from sexy mother pucker <laughs> I don't think I've actually used this one yet, so definitely keeping this one. Then we have an um, interesting glittery liquid lipstick from MUA. Very, very gorgeous, deep colour, beautiful. It's just, it's so shimmery and it's in such a deep, elegant colour that I didn't really have where to wear this for a very long time and then it just expired. Very beautiful though. Would we purchase another color perhaps if they still have them i'll have to let this go because it's very old the next product is a lip liner from mua it's a very beautiful shade of red it goes well with a lot of reds you will wear very beautiful definitely expired though oh god i'll keep it for now but I'll definitely have to replace it extremely, extremely soon. The last product, which is one of my current favourite, and it's these Lip Comfort Oil from Clarins. It looks a bit gross because it keeps leaking around the tube. I'm not really sure why, but really gorgeous smelling, really nourishing, absolutely lovely, lovely product. And it's new, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Oh my god, so this is everything that is left. I cannot believe how empty it is and realistically speaking these four lipsticks here are expired and I should have uh, been them really but I'm not quite ready to let them go maybe I'll try and replace the colors and things like that first but oh my god that lip liner should go as well I just didn't have the heart because it's my only red one from what I've showed you I made the decision to get rid of a few other things a I took out the pure lip balms out of here because I don't think they're necessary to be in my makeup drawer to be really honest. I'm just going to put them in my bedside table or something like that just to apply them as often as possible. So I only left here the lip oil which I think looks gorgeous on top of lipsticks and things and um, the um, colour changing lip one but I mean I'm in shock. Wow so this went a lot longer than I thought it would and I'm actually in shock because I didn't realize how much expired stuff I have in my lip collection. I'm actually almost left with nothing but I do hope I inspired you to go to your makeup drawers and declutter your things. I'll look at the lipstick bullets see if they show signs of um crystallizing or mold or anything like that and just you know um try and be careful about that. Wow! I do hope this is not going to happen to you. They're just going to go and find out everything has just expired. Wow, I can't believe I hold on to all these things for so long. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe because there will be more episodes coming of decluttering my makeup collection and it's really fun to film and just offer like quick reviews about the products and things like that. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check my other social media pages and you can donate on Patreon if you really enjoy my content and you want me to keep going. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!